Alright, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Firebox Breaks for the final episode of Midweek Mystery 10 plus Auction Wins here on Firebox Breaks for the year 2022 and what a year it's been when it comes to this particular tin. Very awesome, we've had some very, very hot hits, some fire pulls and we're going to try to see if we can get more luck on the finale for the year. And that is what we are talking about right there, the Mystery Tin. Four factory sealed packs plus ten assorted cards. Look for mystery packs, game use, or autograph cards in these particular tins. Of course, the Chase pack right there, the 1516 Upper Deck Series 1. And what would that bring us if we get one here in this tin? Well, major fireworks. So we're going to try that again. But we're going to showcase some pickups here. And hopefully the luck will continue. Now this one was not a pickup, but it was found in one of my boxes here. I was going through some old and recent cards, and this one happened to pop out. That is the Austin Matthews Rookie Card Flare Showcase. So I thought I'd definitely showcase that. And that was a pretty cool and a surprising hit. So that one definitely will get some shine. And these were auction pickups right here. So a little bit of allure. We've got the blue parallel. These are very sharp cards. Jake Evans starting us off. We've got Alex Belzeal. We have Gil Sen, Morgan Geeky, Gustav Lindstrom, and we've got a Connor McMichael right there. And that is the blue parallel. So that's pretty cool from Allure. So that will leave the showcase. And we've got three others, some beauties here. An auction win of Quinn Hughes. And that is a patch right there from Trilogy. The Red Parallel. So there we are. Adding a bit of Canucks to the firepower here in Firebox Breaks Collection. Rookie Gems, Quinton Byfield, the Retro. And that one was a very cool pickup right there. Rookie Gems, that is amazing. Followed up with an autograph. Nikita Gusev, numbered card, 821 of 999. So, to end off the year, we featured 10 cards and a beauty of a Rookie Gem. Also, a beauty of a Relic card. So, there we are. Hopefully, that will definitely quench your thirst before we get to these mystery tins, or this one in particular. Can we end off the year in a major way? So let's get right to it. Now I did happen to see that they have new versions and they're going to hit the stands at Walmart very soon. I have seen that. A little bit of sneak peek. I don't have one but I do have a few more of these. So this will definitely carry on as a series once I get those. So hopefully we'll get some massive packs here to end off the year. But let's start with this. We've got a Ryan Getzlaff, that is from Score, sideways card right there. So a Getzlaff. We have a Marcus Kruger, Andrew Ference. We have a Luke Shen, Eric Gabranson. We have Jurgensen's, Benoit Pouliot, Chris Kunitz. We have a Nazem Kadri Upper Deck Canvas from that particular series. That's pretty cool. So Nazem Kadri with the Leafs back in the day, Upper Deck Series 1. So that's pretty cool. That'll be considered a hit there. And followed up with the Jumbo Joe. So that will be your look. There are no relics in there, nor did we get an autograph. But I don't see a premium pack, and that does not look very promising. So, wow. We do not end off the year with a major, major pack. We only ended off with a very mediocre, mediocre three-pack tin. So I think I'll definitely reach out to MJ Holdings because that is not a very good outcome, nor is it a good sign. But here we are, Danny Briere, we have Corey Tropp, Hamannick, Jack Johnson, Ryan Ellis, uh, Sven Barchi rookies, and we've got a Mike Green. So the parallel right there. Wow. The only way this is going to make an exciting 
episode would be if there happened to be an autograph from Score, which we did happen to pull. Magnus Pujarvi there. And we've got a Bobby Hull. That is the franchise. And these are backwards. Rick Nash, Kyle Pozo, Lars Eller, Greg Demise, and Bernie Perrant there. Season highlight. Just going through it really quick because, well, nothing exciting for Score. Parkhurst. Can we get a massive hit here? We've got the 1920. So, let's showcase something good. Perhaps we can end off with a massive rookie here. Jake Gensel, Stasny, Kreider, Krug, McKinnon, Connor Timmons, and a hailstorm of Austin Matthews. So there we are. We started off with a Matthews, end with a Matthews, and that is about it. Parkhurst is the winner for this particular set, or this particular tin. And let's do a very modest recap. We're going to reverse the cards and showcase what we found here. So we have the Nazem Kadri canvas, Barchi rookie, green and Priarvi, Bobby Hall franchise, Perrant, Connor Timmons, but the hailstorm of Austin Matthews. So we did get some fireworks in terms of the Parkhurst. But you let me know what you thought about this particular episode, the showcase cards. Perhaps one of these, the Quinn Hughes jersey patch, the Quinton Byfield is my choice, or the Gusev rookie. So there you have it. That is your final look at the midweek mystery tin. Plus auction wins here on Firebox Breaks for the year 2022. We had some awesome, awesome episodes, and I will leave it there. And it's a very, very modest break. But that's how it goes. You win some, you lose some, or you just break through, and I think this was okay. So we'll leave it there for the midweek mystery tin. Plus auction wins, the finale for the year 2022 here on Firebox Breaks. You let me know what you thought, as always, so like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back with more content in the near future. Until then, bye for now.